let's go through our mods real quick. Should be fine. to check for these other things. Still can't get over there. Level up, levitate one more time, and then we just need two more points to get the ground slam. Which seems pretty cool. Let's go to research. Go to the Ritual Division. Check upstairs first before we go to the mirror. <laughs> Examination of paranatural topics. Experimentation with global synchronicity. As a test, television sets were placed in a variety of locations around the world inside rooms identically decorated. The hypothesis was that by identically altering the decor of every room and then changing the channel in every room but one, that the single differing television was spontaneously aligned the incoming frequency to match its synchronized counterparts. The experiment seemed like a failure until it was observed that the agents responsible for arranging and monitoring, monitoring these rooms were all experiencing the same emotional turmoil is one clinically depressed member of the team, himself being located in the eastern part of Redacted. Psychological examination of the agents proved the, co proved the correlation. Interestingly, the phenomenon of synchronicity did, did occur, but not the way we predicted. Refer to file 1-87-3452 for full report. Why 
would they keep an altered item here? Mirror Excursion 7C. Subject is Agent Hardy. Hardy spent approximately three hours in the mirror. The longest time on record. Can you describe your experience inside, Agent Hardy? <laughs> Agent Hardy is physically healthy. All tests have come back clean. Yet the speech issue has persisted for hours. Calm down, Agent. It could be psychosomatic, but the fact that this only occurred after returning from the mirror makes a paranatural explanation more likely. I recommend a battery of tests and a class orange quarantine. Let's rock. Altered item examination proposal. Uh, AI 60 aka the mirror summary. This proposal has finally determined the precise nature of the reflected space within the altered item. Is it transplanner psychologically generated or rooted within our own dimension? How does the altered item know the space and its vicinity well enough to reflect it? Why does it reflect some materials but not others? Is the space a parallel reality? If so, then we need to consider that while the, we possess this physical end of the mirror, someone else owns the other. What purposes might they use it for? Can they walk through into our own world? What are their motives? Lastly, to what purpose does the altered item produce the reflections of individuals that enter it? Can these reflected entities leave the altered item? As with all alt altered items, we need to attempt to distinguish if this behavior is redacted. Refer to 512E251 for full report. AI-60 The Mirror does not reflect its surroundings with perfect accuracy. The environment seen in its glass contains slight distinctions. It is unknown why the mirror does this. If there is any redacted, then it's something we can't perceive. The popular mm -hmm. theory is that the mirror has a goal in mind that it reflects the world it wishes were real, subtly replacing our reality with its own. While certainly far-fetched, the theory is worth noting here as a warning not to underestimate the mirror. Specially designed black rock panels have been installed to prevent access from our side or the mirrors. For added security, a particular arrangement of the panels is required to open the door. Refer to file 915-7412 for full report. Alright, let's see. I'm assuming on the security cameras it has the correct order. Looks like there's a mirror in there. Hmm, maybe not. The shutters in the image look different. So last one is up, the other two are down. What 
are these shutters do? What am I missing? And the last one is down and the others are up. If it's because of it's a it's a mirror. What a weird way to lock something up. Yep. Had me going there because we were looking at it reverse. <laughs> oh shit. Wait, that didn't sound right. Yeah, that's not good. Which one do I do? That one's impossible. Because that hole. Okay, so that's. That is the exact same as this. Right? Right. Oh, his is going to be right, I bet. I can't understand you. You need to listen. 
I saw something in there. There is something inside. You need to lock down the mirror. <laughs> Why are you talking like that? What's wrong with you? All of you. There's something in that fucking mirror. That's cool. Alright, maybe it's actually the only one that's full is the bottom. I'm so confused. That's the only possible shape. No oh, wait, the bottom needs to be full. Is that the right combination? <laughs> oh well, I'm not gonna question it. Weird. Trial and error always works. What do we get though? 18, 17, 16. Don't really need these. That's not good. Let me check this way first. 
Although I think we're confined to this room. Yeah. Six, none, it's two on the bottom. Oh shit. This is like super Twin Peaks. <laughs> This gun is way too slow. Me switch to charge, maybe. I blew it myself. <laughs> That's super cool, though. I either need to use like spin or. Uh, something. Uh, let's see. Shatter is a little too close. Let's go ahead and use spin.
wow, got stuck in the fucking corner. Oh my god. That sucks. <laughs> it's a cool fight though. Actually, shotgun wouldn't be too bad. Go. That explains why they locked this mirror up. All right, let's go back. I wonder what the bureau was doing with this thing.
Well, it's cleansed now. This is gone. It's dealt with. Nice. Now we can do the uh, ground slam. And the final mod. Uh, so we'll upgrade. Maybe shattered. Some more untapped potential. I think I'll keep the charge going for a little while though, and this is a pretty cool weapon. Twelve extra projectiles. Crazy. Alright, um... What other missions do we have? Victorian mirror. This item should be kept in a sealed chamber with minimal external visibility. A hanging mirror, oval in shape. The frame is of ornately wrought brass. The item does not reflect its surrounding accurately. The item's effect is complex. Most notable is the fact that the glass transports individuals into a paranatural space when touched. In this space is an imperfect reflection of our reality. Some objects inside the reflection are simple mirror images. Some are redacted, while some do not appear at all. The reflection only contains areas within a redacted distance from the item itself. Relocating the item has proven that the reflection changes depending on its surroundings. Agents have been sent in to explore the reflection. Redacted have been observed, and the test subjects sent inside believed to be psychosomatic. Prolonged exposure to the reflection is not advisable. Fake news. Let's check our missions. I don't want to do this one quite yet. I can speak with Langston though. See what we can do for this poor guy that's been locked in this room for hours, staring at a fridge. He's watching a refrigerator and very rapidly losing it. Philip? Oh shit, I forgot about fridge duty. He's been in there for over a day. <laughs> I forgot. You forgot about him? There's a lot going on. The hiss, the Benikoff TV. Considering the number of things I'm juggling, ma'am, I think it's. Listen, it's fine. We just need to get him out of there. He said you'd be able to open the cell door? Yeah, I can unlock it on my terminal. There. Done. Door. Open. But Philip can't just leave. The fridge is behaving erratically. Ocular contact is the only thing that seems to placate it. If we don't have someone in there watching it 24-7, people will die. I'll figure something out. I'm pretty good with these things. 
Being pretty good with altered items isn't standard bureau procedure, ma'am. He doesn't know us very well. Do you often see people with abilities like mine? We have some paranaturally inclined agents at the Bureau. Nothing as impressive as you, though. Of course, we did have your brother here. He got a special cell up top. Darling put his own people in charge. Like I couldn't be trusted. I couldn't even get into the room in my own panopticon. Ah, oh, I tell you, the way that Darling runs things, there ought to be an investigation. Anyway, what were we talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Do you know anything about an object of power called the slide projector? Doesn't ring a bell, but Trench's chosen few never tell me anything. Not that I'm complaining. The inner circle works non-stop. I'm pretty sure Darling sleeps under his desk. No, thank you. I have a cat to feed. <laughs> I hope Langston's got a pet sitter. I'll see you later, Langston. Let's go get this guy. I'll be here, like always. He was on four. Oh, actually, we could do um, fast travel there. Hello, Jesse. I'm back. I'm coming in. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Jesse. The Frank is doing something. Oh shit. Philip. Poor Philip. Federal Bureau of Control Employee Report Review Incident question occurred on redacted and was brought to HR Department's attention by the internal security personnel who intervened. According to reports supported, supported by security camera footage, Agent Filson entered the staff kitchen with the intention of consuming his private meal, a homemade sandwich cut diagonally and packed in a plastic container, discovered the refrigerator had redacted his meal. Agent Filson began to kick the bureau-owned appliance as he expressed his frustration in a loud and profane manner. This behavior caused multiple staff members present to become alarmed. Security was alerted soon after. Filson complied with security commands to desist. Agent Filson was reprimanded and suspended for the remainder of the ongoing work week, with the review committee recommends one non-mandatory counseling session. Oh, did he just eat him? If I look away, it hurts me. <laughs> this sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Oh shit. I hadn't <laughs> I didn't see that it destroyed the floor. Um instead of shatter I might need to use pierce for this one. Which one was it? Fifteen. Hello? Jesse? I'm back. I'm coming in. Jesse? The Frank is doing something! Philip? Philip?
sounds like the board, but I can't understand it. Fuck. pyramid here. The fridge seems fixed. Did fighting that thing off change something? Mm. Hey, what's up, Roxas? How'd it go? Where's Philip? Philip's gone. Something happened before I could get him out. <sighs> Poor Philip. He never did like fridge duty. But if you're here, then who's watching the fridge? The fridge is fine now. I took care of it. You don't just take care of altered items. What did you do? I touched it. I'm wound up in the astral plane. This thing was in there. It was huge, had one big eye. Wasn't friendly. We've been getting reports from the astronauts lately about something fitting that description. The astral plane is usually connected to our world through objects of power, not altered items. If this thing is linking itself to altered items, then it's clearly powerful. This may happen again. Do you think that thing is what got Philip? Must have been. The Panopticon is a dangerous place. The agents all know the risks. But since you're some sort of altered item whisperer, I've got a list of others for you to corral. The hiss are causing containment breaches left, right, and center. Here, start with these. I'll see if there are any others missing while you're gone. My life just got a whole lot easier. More time for your cat. I'll see you later, Langston. I'll be here, like always. Everything's good. Just uh trying to get through this a little bit. Oh nice, we got another untapped potential. We're short on source to level anything up. I'd like to upgrade the pierce one more time. Um Yep, just working. Reviewing games. 
あれYeah, right for the um, Rectify Gaming, same as uh, Noc uh, Nantox. All right. Well, from here, I need to take a break, grab some lunch, walk the dog, and then I'll come back and finish up some more. Is this an SCP Foundation game? I don't know what SCP means. Fictional organization documented by a web based collaborative fiction project of the same name. Oh, it seems kind of similar, yeah. It's linked to Alan Wake. Let's see if there's somebody that we can raid real quick. Uh, we can raid Dr. John Galt. Alright guys, I will be back later. Thanks for stopping by, Roxas. Appreciate it. And... Thanks for again for the raid, Justin Carl.